we live on one planet um, and we've got uh, sort of this bipolar element of China versus the US and AI and we have this split universe um, it would always be better to have alignment and everybody working well together but um, what advice do you have there how should people think about this I mean because it's a complicated uh, way above my pay grade um, and I want I don't want to put you in a situation where you're talking about anything that you don't feel comfortable about, but I, I can't not have the conversation of, you know, I, I see a lot of people um, feeling like China is the enemy there, or U.S. is being monopolistic there. How do, how do we, you know, navigate the next five, 10 years, which are the most critical? Yeah, there are some things that we're just not able to change. They are what they are. And, but I think each of us can make our own judgments and decide where we can reduce the impact of this unfortunate geopolitical situation. For example, you know, open source is one area where all the countries collaborate equally and generously. Um, academic collaborations continue on. Uh, areas of collaborations not involved in the sensitive model or semiconductor can still go on. And I think you know, connectivity in the world working people to people, business to, to business, needs to go on. It has to be good. Globalism has to be right. Uh, differences between governments is kind of like, you know, when our parents have fights with another parents, we kids can still get along and, and do something interesting and fun, right? Agreed. You know, I like to say we all have the same biology. So a breakthrough in medicine in China yeah. is the equivalent of a breakthrough in the Bronx. Um, and Absolutely. we all, we all share 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week. That's a, it's something every single human has. And so anything yeah. that gains us time efficiency in one place gains time efficiency in another. Yeah, and we share the same planet, which is facing its own challenges, right? Yes.